Hello everybody. It's been too, too long actually. Uh, but I thought I needed to give myself some time to, to heal and um, to get mentally and physically strong. And uh, you know, after, um, after the surgery, radiation, all of that, I hadn't met my, my mom. So I actually went to Kollam. I spent three weeks with Amma and my younger sister Devika and uh, it was great, you know, it was superb. <laughs> uh, yep, so I'm back in hot, hot Delhi now and I just wanted to update everybody on how I was doing. I'm doing much, much better and uh, it's, it's a process, huh? it's not something that you do the surgery, you do your radiation and then you're fine. No, it takes it takes its toll on you. So anyway, so the last time when I spoke to you all, I had said that I'm definitely going to lose weight because that's, that is, I didn't have an option. I had to, had to lose weight. So I'm on the road to losing weight. I've lost about four kilos now and I'm, I'm really happy. Of course, there's been a huge shift where my uh, eating habits is concerned. I walk one, one and a half hours every day. I do a lot of work out in the garden the whole day. I mean, in the mornings, about two, two and a half hours. So there's a lot of work happening there as well. And of course, it's just the food that I eat. It's just, you have to have to watch what you put in your mouth if you want to lose weight. I still have a very, very long way to go. And uh, I think uh, many years, it's been many, many years that um, I used to be obsessed with getting on the wing scale, looking, oh, I have increased 200 grams less, uh, 200 more, 500. It used to be madness. And then one fine day, I just picked up my wing scale and threw it out. I threw it in the garbage and I said, I will never, ever weigh myself again. Big mistake because then you lose control of uh, if you're putting on weight or not. And um, I have now gone and got myself a weighing machine and I'm, I'm not being obsessed with it. I'm not obsessive about getting on and checking out how much weight I've lost or gained. I'm just, uh, I just know that if I eat right and work out a little bit, I should be okay. So, you know, the things that you do when uh, disaster hits or when there's a huge shift in your life, the things that happen around you, you know. Um, I have to tell you that, um, you know, there's something that I want to share with you also. Um, there, you know, I'd gone to Kollam and uh, Kavi called me up and she says, Ma, she has a, she had, I mean, when she was in school, they used to go cross country running or training or something. And uh, her knees took a huge beating. So she had called me up and she says, Amma, please speak to the Vaidyan over there in, uh, in Shilpriya and find out what can I do to get rid of this knee pain, which is just ridiculous. And and he just he just said the simplest thing. Of course, uh, he gave me one oil and, and then he said, um, you know, put the oil first on her knees and then there is an, a leaf. Uh, in Malayalam it's called Erik Ella and in Hindi I think it's Madar. Um, he says take the leaf of this plant and uh, with rock salt, kalupa, airechelika, make it into a paste and put it on her knees and uh, you know with a light gauze just, uh, just tie it for about half an hour, 45 minutes to one hour and then let her wash it off. So I was like, that's it. Uh, I mean, just one leaf is going to help. And he says, it, it really works wonders. And I said, where do you get it? Where can I get this plant from? And then he said, oh, it's going wild all over Kerala, you know? So I was like, uh, what? <laughs> so I told Kavi, this is all you have to do. And when I come back, I'll make this, uh, this pooch. In Malayalam, it's called pooch, the mulch, uh, you know, the ground uh, paste and I'll make it for you, put it on your knees and we'll see how it, how that works. And uh, of course, I asked my driver in Kollam, I said, uh, where can I get Erikela from? Yeah. So he said, ma'am, here is one plant, here is another on the highway, it is full of Erikelas. 
all over the place. So what I did was I actually got it and froze it because I didn't know if it was available if I would get it in Delhi. Yeah, froze it, and I still have a bunch of it. And this is the the pooch that I make. So amazing, and um, I've started using it on her knees, and there's a world of difference, a world of difference. Oh my God! And I was like, she says, look at this, her huh? Ayurveda, and how fast and efficiently it works, and. So I was like so happy that um, that I managed to get my hands on the Erikela. So uh, you know, uh, uh, so back in Delhi, and I was like, okay, thank God, I have a good enough stock of frozen leaves. And um, and through my radiation, strange things happened. My fillings on my teeth fell off, two of them. And uh, then I called up my dentist, and I said, so anyway, yesterday was my dentist day. And Gurgaon, really far. It's about an hour and a half from my place. So we are driving on that that road, uh, the MG road, and then into Gurgaon and Nirvana, really far away. And all over the place, there was Madar, Erikela, <laughs> growing wild and free, and all over the place. And I was like, oh my God! So I'm telling my driver. Uh, you know this is madar so khalil is saying yes ma'am this is madar so i said uh, khalil um, you know you need to because uh, he's been telling me about his wife having knee problems i said with rock salt pluck these leaves make a mulch and put a pooch on her knees and i said i will give you a little bit of the oil and everything else and all that is happy so treatment for his wife khalil's wife and treatment for kavi is happening and it's what god has given us these amazing plants that are just in abundance with huge medicinal properties so i wanted to just tell everybody out there if you have terrible knee pain like kavi had to get an mri done for her knees to find out what was wrong and she says amma now the pain is like kind of she would say i'm 70 70% fine and it's only been like what a week since i started doing this uh, pooch on her knees and uh, 70 patients said i've been having this pain for about i don't know for about 8 9 years she's been having this pain she said sometimes it comes sometimes it goes now it's just really bad is by she went and got the mri done but uh, this this pooch has helped a lot and um, so uh, madar in Delhi it's all over i think it's all over the place all over india anybody has a knee problem knee pain make a mulch of it uh, grind it to a paste don't add water just the leaf and rock salt and put a pooch on the knees and you should be sorted out the things that you learn you know it's just amazing i'm really really thrilled and also uh, the doc told me about another oil uh for dandruff and everything else and uh he says yeah take this leaf put it in uh this much of coconut oil and keep it in the sun for 7 days and it will turn a beautiful purple color he says that is amazing for the uh the scalp any kind of scalp um, you know disorders any kind of scabbing anything so i took this leaf he gave me a branch and i took it and put it into the um uh, the oil and put it in the sun for 7 days and it's right in front of my eyes it started turning color and i was like it's incredible so i gave it to people who had dandruff and it's all gone so now i'm i'm trying to manufacture it and bring it out <laughs> um let's see how that goes it's a long way off from uh, becoming a, an ap product but it's definitely on in the horizon there Uh, so that's it so i just want to tell you that i'm happy and i'm uh, much better and um, nothing really to worry about and i hope everybody staying staying very safe and uh, very happy and peace of mind and light and happiness to everybody i shall see you all very very soon bye bye